Hello, hello, it's Wendy Irwin, and it is a three o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon, and a lot's been brewing today. One of the things is that um, I'm just coming to grips with the reality that is our situation, which is, you know, we may be um, opening Texas back up, which is important, and it's in, hi, Susie. It's exciting and I'm, I'm sure it's troubling in some ways and we're all maybe a little fearful of uncertainty that's happening, but that's really not why I'm on today. I'm on today because I am the parent of teenagers and anyone that is a parent right now dealing with kids that are in this very uncertain place about they're not going back to school. When are they going back to school? They're learning, but they're not learning. They're kind of being graded and they're not. And um, I myself am a parent of a senior in high school this year and they're missing out on a lot, right? But I found myself getting really triggered and hey, Wignall, how are you? I found myself getting really triggered by all of the, um, let's make sure our seniors know that they're important and, and the way people are kind of spinning this, um, doing without prom, doing without, uh, you know, the graduation ceremonies, all these different things. Now, some people are handling it amazingly and I'm also noticing a trend and I have been very trying to be very cognizant and conscious of my own um, expectations and beliefs that I'm putting on there. <laughs> hey Mel, um, I don't know about you, but I know that you guys have kids and I know that you know, you know, deep down in your, in your heart that they are watching you. They are watching how you react. They are watching what you come up with. They're watching your limiting beliefs. They're watching your stress reaction to all the stuff that's going on. And you are in turn teaching them how to handle all this. You're teaching them how to handle the stress. You're teaching them how to handle the stimulus. Now, having said that, there's actually two little buckets that I wanted to fill. Oh, I just poured water all over myself. Um, one thing <laughs> is that, um, that if you got kids just beware that they are watching you and if you are being stressful and irrational and possibly just reactive to the situation around you well guess what's happening that's what they're learning right they're learning how to do that and we are all are going to do it we're all not perfect trust me i'm just going to keep wiping this up and keep talking i don't know if the universe is trying to tell me something or not <laughs> anyway because it's cold it's ice water so that's one thing those are if you have smaller kids, right? If you have smaller kids and they're like, they don't know, they think this is one great vacation. They get to sp spend time in their underwear. They get to stay in their pajamas all day. Mom and dad are around all the time for that constant attention. So there's that piece of it. Kids don't understand the reality of the situation that we're in. So it really is up to you on how you present it to them. So that's one. The second bucket that I want to talk about is these teenagers. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I remember in high school when I was a senior or even a junior, I did not give a fuck about going to school. <laughs> now, I love the social aspect of it, but I remember by the time I was a senior, I was so over it. I was so ready to get out of high school. I was just so ready to be done that all the stuff that seemed to be important that they were making a big deal about really didn't resonate with me. Now, I might have been alone in that. I'll just you know come clean with that. I might have been alone. But however, when a, more people I talk to and we talk about, how did you feel when you were a senior? And they're like, I just was done. I was ready to be out. I was ready to be an adult. I was ready to have, take control of my life, get out from under mom and dad, all that kind of stuff. Now, having said that, I've noticed that a lot of parents are really beginning to overstep I don't know if that's the best word. They're disempowering their children's experience. Instead of talking about, okay, you may be a senior and you may not have what it looks like in the past of what you wanted to accomplish or you wanted your life to look at, but ultimately, hey, Wilson, ultimately their experience is just that. This is the first time they're experiencing it. So all your expectations you're putting in front of your children about, oh, but you're gonna be, be a prom and oh, you're, that's your shit. It's not your kid's shit. And so stop putting it on them. And, I, and the reason I'm saying this is because you are basically cloaking this entire experience negatively for them when it doesn't really have to be. So, so think about those things. 
Your experience from 20, 30, 15 years ago is exactly that. It's your experience. Their experience is something completely different. I had some honest conversations with my kids um, in the past couple of months, and you know what? They don't care. They don't care about these ceremonies. They don't care about these rituals that we find important, that our generation found important. They don't care. So by us putting all this on them, we're actually causing them more stress. So I know that's not your intent. I know that you wanna empower your kids. I know that you want them to feel the specialness of this time. So make that happen. Make them feel that their experience is more powerful, more important than your own experience that's 30 years old or 20 years old. Stop making it about you. Stop making it about your memory. Stop making it about your, what you feel like they might be missing out. Because the bottom line is, is you don't know. You don't know that they're missing out. So, hey, Barbara. So, I just wanted to get this out because I believe it's coming from a well-intended place, but it's a little misguided because you're putting more undue stress on your seniors. You're putting undue stress on your teenagers who really don't care. You care. And you know what? Own it. Own it that you care. Talk to your kids and say, you know what? This matters a lot to me. I know it doesn't matter matter to you. And then let's talk about why it matters to me or why it doesn't matter to you. That communication is what they're gonna remember. That being able to parse out all the stimuli that could be stressful in their life and how you handle that instead of being reactive is what they're going to remember and what they're going to take away. So please, please, please think about these things. And I love all the stuff on social media as far as the adopt a senior, you know, have other people make your kid feel special and those types of things. That's really important. But please don't put your own past memories and experience of what this time period should look like on your kids because they don't have any frame of reference for that. Only you do. Hi, Stacy. So think about that. You're like, oh, they're missing out on this and oh, they're missing out on that. The devil is they don't know what they're missing out on because they haven't experienced it yet. And by setting them up for this negativity, you are actually discoloring their experience of it. Now, I don't want to thwart your efforts into making it a positive experience, but I want you guys, because you're parents, because you have that kind of responsibility to guide your children on where to go, I want you to understand that this is actually what's happening. And what you think is for your children is actually not, it's for yourself. And to take that and think about it. And how would you show up differently if this was to make the most of your child's current reality, their current experience, and the actual things they're dealing with, not what you believe they're missing out on? Hi, Ruth. Hey, yay, Jen, she gets to see me live. So um, real quick, touching base, your kids are watching you. They're watching how you react to the stress. They're watching how your limiting beliefs may be keeping you afraid or uncertain and therefore it's bleeding on into them. Where what if you can say, you know, this is kind of what's happened and these are the precautions we can take. It's kind of like, you know, hope for the best and prepare for the worst type thing. And if you have a kid that is in this this space of they're a senior in high school or a senior in college, or maybe they, they just graduated college and they're like, what's happening? They're still watching you. So make sure you're not coloring their experience with your history. And that's probably true in every aspect of your life. But right now, that's really what is paramount to what I'm saying right now is that if you make it seem like a negative experience, well, guess what? Your kids are going to see that too. So if you truly want to make the best possible lemonade out of lemons with your kids right now, make sure that their experience is exactly that, their experience, not your version of what you think it should be. And then see what happens. Then let that spark the conversation on what they'd like their experience to be. What would you like your senior year to look like? I know this, these things aren't gonna happen, so let's make up new traditions, let's make up new rituals, and that's the experience they're gonna remember. So um, right now, I want to get off the, this live call because my entire lap is ice cold, wet, and I'm starting to shiver, but I feel like it was, the, um, it was um, kind of uh, poignant that that happened just at that time. So 
holler at me if you have any questions on maybe how to navigate that conversation or if that's not what's happening and you have an alternative viewpoint, I would love to hear it because I love having those conversations. Um, there's no right, wrong or good or bad, but um, just know your kids are watching you and know that I know you wanna be the best representation of a human being in front of your kids because ultimately you know that your kids will be better for it and so will you. Um, that's it for me today. I hope you have a fantastic afternoon and I'll see you soon. Bye.